them no smoke, them no sick, them no have been kind, but them I read. Cartel and Movado. This, when me buses when Movado and Cartel war it, at its peak, yes. just right. Time. And a busy signal of a song when him, these are the days. These are the fucking days. Yeah. yeah. That did I go on, because of that sake of production as well. Yeah, nah, so nah, when me say so now, boom, with exercise, exercise start play with the days. The marker is one of them talent there. This is one of falling soldiers, and the song Boss, and that's when conscience sing winner. Yeah. This yeah. year, yeah. me yeah. and yeah. be the winner. Yeah. Near about seven gunshot fire behind me. See, let's Big see. Big woman thing. Jap out of my hand, like, me I said, Jan, no, I'm a final boss. Because the man that were around us are for your gunshot, I don't know them. I did a lot of writing for Elephant, man. Yeah. Like, I like a lot. Songs that I can't even remember. The Hansen songs and all them songs? Well, I'm one of the first artists who actually sing a song that I wrote was Bounty Killer. Yeah. Even though I still have killers, one of the biggest artists still in the camp. Help time protection. Mm. Hi, welcome to another episode of Inside the Music. I'm your host, GZB, and this is Pelper Time TV. And right now we are at Portmore Harbor Beach, and that's Portmore, and that's at Toll Road. When you're coming from Kingston, first building on the left, and when you're leaving Portmore, the first building on the, the last building on the right. You don't know you're going to a nice ambiance beach. You can buy alcohol, you can get your steam fish, you can get your fry fish, have a vice, bring your girl. Portmore Harbour Beach, a place to be in Portmore. Nice, pretty sun, like the North Coast. I don't know here we hit with a legend in that dance hall and reggae music. It goes by the name of Bugle. Where you going with fam? You know, some of the well up, Joe. Ja. Everything balanced. That is it, man. It balanced so far. Yeah, man. Big up Pelpa time, you know. First time, actually, a reason with the item. True. I look forward to the reason. Yeah, man. With there, man. You put out a, you put out an album. I had the album launch one night here. Yeah. yeah. Bounty Killer, Josh them passed through, a lot of people passed through. The album Apex. Apex. Yes. So tell yeah. me about the album. Well, um, Apex, of course, the, the name, it kind of self explanatory because Apex is the highest peak of anything, especially when you're trying to prove a point. True. And the truth is, I have a lot for proof, even though I'm not try for proof, if it over, as I say. Yeah. And why I would say I have a lot for proof is because a lot of people still don't even believe in a reggae music. A lot of people give up on a lot of artists who sing reggae music. A lot of people don't really believe in a bugle so somewhat and that's why people would have me as one of the most underrated so i still have a point for proof where that is concerned because a lot of people never know so bugle could have maintained after 17 years and still have carry on the way how me i do it true so in other sense they may have a lot for proof because you know i show people say listen like man i have to try to do it it's a natural thing it's an inborn thing a job blessing or anything with jar do no man can't stop it from um, you over the mess, eh? Definitely. And me being, you know, an anointed one or the anointed one is not by coincidence. I just jab point me and anoint me. So, with the Japan Jam mission. How many um, tracks is on the album? It's a 16 track. It's actually 14 songs, but it's a 16 tracks. Uh, meaning, we have an intro and we have an interlude. Yeah. Of course, we got Rory from Stone Love, the original Rory from Stone Love who did the interlude on the album and trust me, just the interlude, the interlude are probably my favorite thing in the album, so I love it. Yeah. Over <laughs> so I said, big up Rasha Dai who did the intro. Um, yeah, it's a 16 track album. Yeah, and it, what, what's the variation like? You have like girl songs, where uh, you go? Um. Yeah man, definitely because variety of the spice of life and me doing an album, I always I got have, you know, different kind of vibe, but it's a 99% reggae album. Um, of course, we got, we got some serious um, rhythms, we got some serious beats, we got, we got um, tempo. Yeah. Tempo, so in a tempo. We got police in helicopter. Yeah. Um, we got promised land. That keep the foundation. Yeah. So, and, and that I just, uh, we use back like four original rhythms. Yeah. Four throwback rhythms. I should say, and and then the rest is original. True indeed. But still reggae. That's, that sound good, sound interesting. It's yeah. an apex mean the highest in anything. The highest peak in anything, yeah. especially when you're trying to prove a point. You especially, because you say, people say you're underrated. 
Well, uh, you say, every day. You hear say under every day. Personally, I don't think that I am underrated because if me did so underrated, all of them people who think them are underrated don't think me underrated because I choose them rate me why them think me underrated. Yeah. And then again, if I am underrated, I would rather to be underrated than overrated. True. But in the midst of everything, me deserve what my own. Definitely. You definitely deserve what's yours and you've been doing music on a scale and on a high level from your come out till now. 17 years. 17 years. Yeah. I do it for now. So, but we could backtrack then. Talk about 17 years ago when you first came into music. How was that? And how did you come into music? I mean, I didn't came into music 17 years ago. I mean, in a music a whole heap of years before 17 years ago. But I get my break 17 years ago. Yeah. You over as 2007, I met my first hit song. Exercise every, every day. day and I'm still in a 17 years that already? Yeah man, 2007, 2024, that's all like 17 years to me. That's a time of fly man. Yeah, so, true, my daughter is 17. Yeah, that's and 2000, like 17 years to me. And a 2007 she bought. Yeah. 17 years. She's 17, right? Yeah, she's 17. Yes, yeah, so I mean, I look, I, I got towards the 18 years now. I'm close to the 18 years because we're in September. Yeah. Soon done. And yeah, I'm mean, towards the 18 years. 18 years. Beautiful. In the music. So I think I create a legacy for myself in the music. I think I am somewhat a stalwart in the music, based on the work we do and how we maintain. Yeah, true. Over so when I say, Definitely. So it's just like the other day when I even do the Apex album, one of my brethren linked me and said, I think I have to put a particular artist on there. And I asked him why, which is a younger artist. Young, at an hype, as they would say. So, I asked him why, he said, because him, him hat and him have a following and the people him love him. And I say, yeah, but that alone don't tell me to put an artist on my album because where that artist is now, I was there before. Yeah, true. The overs when I say, so me still think the artist there is a million miles away from me trying to reach where I am. Definitely, Who sir. Who me I try to reach to is the people that me I put on my album. So I would rather, I would like to put a, a, a Berry Salmon on my album because I would want to win the Berry Salmon fans. Yeah. You understand me? I say, and Def to me, that is growth. For me to step in back because of youth, young and hot and hype, that I may walk away from what me already. Hey, build your legacy. You over as well, I say, me don't pass this up on the journey. You know? should have asked for that point year. And I'm but. not, exactly, and, and it's not like me, I say, I want record a song with a youth because that's something I do all the time. He probably do it with more young youth than any other artist. Yeah. But I do a body of work, really and truly. You know, because I have Tiff up on the album. Me have an artist when I'm girl, which is a young artist, same way. I heard of her, heard of her. I have a youth when I'm Chaps on the album, which is a young artist, same way. Um, so I have young artists on the album, but me, I just know one of them youth that will run down the hype. Me, I deal with substance. You over as well, I say? Definitely. Because them say I know everything where glitter are gold, and, and that are facts. You over. So if everything where you see shiny, I got things are gold, then you're going to end up a lose out. Big time too. Not true, you attack. So you said, all right, 07, so you started before that, before 07. Yeah, Tell man. me about them beginnings then. Yeah, man, then I used to write a well of song for people like Elephant Man in the early 2000s, like 2001, 2002, 2003. Yeah. Um, me used to hang out like a big ship studio, 97, 98. You over so I say, so from me about 12, me I do this still in a job. And from me about 12 I stay in Portland and go up to school and just get active in the school and just find pleasure in a beat in the desk and a DJ in the school. So really and truly I can tell you that I spend the whole of my life I do this. And I never do this because of hype and money. Because I never know about hype and money. I just love the feeling when I get when my DJ and my little bridge in them laugh and give me a father and say, yo, that nice. Yeah. And, and every day I want to do something new for them. If you're over so, yeah, man, so that, in -bound thing. that keep on building my catalog now. Cause you every every day the man them say me, the man them say one new today. I'm always have something new. So when you check when, when you check it now within a short sponsor time, me have a whole heap of song. Yeah. Because me I try to prove to my bridge in them so I can do it. And that really helped me because it helped me to be more creative. It yeah. helped me to think more. It helped me to focus more. You of us, and it also build me as an artist where even my vocal and all of that is concerned. Because I used to DJ hardcore, I'd be a clash, I used to clash as a youth. See, <laughs> yeah, you see, yeah, and true. I talk about all of the negative, them, and the shooting, and the murder, and 
are them things that we use as so we start. Yeah. You're over. With, with name, Bugle. Yeah. You didn't name Bugle from them time? No, man. Them time, I don't name Bugle. When I live in Portland, I used to flip Stitchy song them so much. Over Portland, them call me Country Stitchy. Country when Stitchy. When I little youth, as a 12-year-old. Yeah. Know, I say, yo. And how I even get the name? Because when I die in a school, I sing on them things. I don't have no name. I just my regular name I go by. I man just I call me my birth name because that a man know. And then one day I go in our next community, which is next to our community. And the man them say, we hear say you had a little bad DJ up at your place. DJ for we. And I stay on a split B lyrics and the man where you know yeah, that yeah. style. Eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. B the man where I, 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 I play the rhythm on him chest and on the, 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 the stool at the time. The, 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 the lyrics sweet him so much, he said, pull up. You know, we have the town stitchy and we have the country stitchy. Come down, country stitchy. Yeah. And it just stuck. Probably. Stuck. <laughs> yeah. Now, bad news. You run with the name for a while? For a while, yeah, man. Then know that every, if, 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 if me there, are, if me, if me there are halfway tree you now or anywhere, and hear a man say, stitchy. Mm -hmm. Me say, yeah. <laughs> you know me a long time. Yeah, you know me from your juvenile. Time, yeah. yeah. Cause all my time I saw people differentiate yeah, where man, people know you're from. If I go to Portland right now and go to Spring Hill, I go hear all the people say, Stitchy. Yeah. Enough so, man not call me Bugler. Stitchy them call me. Yeah, hometown man. Know me. A hometown. I yeah, know yeah. it's authentic when you're hometown still call you by that name where they know you. Yeah, fam. Cause all my time you go hometown and I hear Bugler. I wonder, yeah, tell them to call you Stitchy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so you don't know Bugler. Right? Yeah, I know Bugler. <laughs> So, Stitch here though, but Georgia. it should be so. Growing up in a country, rural area now, yeah. what was that growing up like? It was great. Yeah. I like, had the most fun time I've having in my life as a youth, especially when summer come and then the whole of your little family them from the city come over now. Yeah. And you know the river involved and the fruits them ripe up on the tree, a mango time and, and everything I go on. I be your excitement to go river every day, go swim and cook on the side of the river. Best so river. that was a vibe like... To me, as a youth, I grew up poor. I never did know some I'm poor because me thinks I saw everybody live. Yeah. You over us because it was excitement. Like you look forward to get up in the morning and go a river. Yeah. You over us, yeah. so and, and you know, I left the river until, until the day done and look forward to doing it the next day again. So me thinks uh, this is how everybody live yeah. as a youth. And in them area, the, the best things are free. The best things are free, as me I say. If my father don't have yam, the neighbor have yam. So we still get yam from the neighbor. That is it. And if my father have Irish potato, then the neighbor get Irish potato. If my father have kalalu and the neighbor have cabbage, then my father get the neighbor kalalu and get cabbage from the neighbor. So them things that make me even learn for sure. You understand? It make me learn to appreciate people even more. You see, it make me look out for everybody in my surrounding. May I tell you? So which part of me live right now, me, me, me is like a police because me look out for all of the neighbor them. You over so me I say, if I see an old lady like, you see, me I got assist her. That I just my energy because that's how me grow. Serve and protect. You see, yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that man. is it. So moving to Kingston, was it for the music or it was other reasons? Definitely. It was definitely for the, for the music because me, they are Portland now as a youth because I was still a teenager. I may not see a record in studio, but may I hear the song them and may I see where Stitchy and Sand them are doing. And, and come from. you see? <laughs> and may I say, no, I want to be a part of this, you know, so I have to go into the city. So I take for myself. When I may leave Portland, even my parents don't know. Yeah, run, no, run away just, from home. I just take for myself. It's not like them would have a problem with it still, as long as which part of them are good. Because my mother, my mother was my biggest fan. May I soul rest in peace. My father never really want me to do music because my father said I forgot to get a real trade. I sing it in a song, Life Savior. Yeah. And I, every, me, me, me sing facts in a bridge. I don't make up story, you know. You see? Reality music. I stay so and sing it in a song because my father said I got to do a real trade. This is not a real trade. Because my father do not know nothing about music at the time. He's a countryman who just a deal with farming in the deep rural. He do not know nothing at all about music. So I said, that's not a real trade, you know. You have to go get a real trade. I stay so boom and go to fashion designing. Okay. And, and I learn it and learn it good too and could have cut and sew anything. But I just not comfortable to sit down one place every day around a machine. So I run left it and found another city and start taking on the studio them, which I want different kind of struggle that still. Oh, next. Make, yeah, Keep that in front like, of you. I like my life just start now. Yeah. I start to hard life, I start to bad mind people, I start to grudgeful, I start to ready I I start to wish for you have to fend for your own. If you're not buy your dinner, you're not eat. 
you know, I whole heap of things, but at the same time, I grow into a man, regardless of how young I was. You understand? Because that teach me a lot. And I remember one of the time, my mother said, it's okay to be on your own, you know. Because guess what happened now? It's when you're on your own, you're going to learn to appreciate even furniture more. Throw in the man. It's a bed. <laughs> yeah. A bed coming like. Yeah. You never even know, so you take it for granted when you yeah, have ja. a bed. Until yeah, man. you don't have one. Until you don't have one. A fridge, you know. Yeah. If you grow up in a house with a fridge, um, it's just a fridge, I don't know nothing. But when you actually have to go buy a fridge to yourself now, you want to clean the fridge there every day, man. You don't even want to say, no, sure, no loose sure water in it. Show more appreciation now. Yeah. So I teach you. And when you know the value of things, is when you really appreciate things. Yeah. yeah. So you say it was a good move coming it to It was Kingston. a great move. Yeah. I did the right thing. Yeah. And that land me right as I wish probably the reason there today. I mean, never take that trip there, probably you wouldn't know. Bugle, probably I just some coffee you would have drink while Bugle farm it come off. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Still name Stitchy. Yeah, uh, Stitchy Farm, it come on for. Stitchy Farm. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so you make that great move there in the city now, one city life. Yeah, I said, you see the struggles. How did you overcome the struggles now? I just hard work. As I yeah. say, hard life teach me everything when I know today. You know what I'm mm -hmm. I just hard work overcomes all difficulties. You know? I will leave for got you. And whole heap of negative there, there, but we always try, me always try my best to develop the negative in our positive picture. So, no matter how negative the person is or the situation is, when I'm there or when I'm there, in a, I always try to find that one positive there in that situation and use that to enhance my life. You understand what I'm saying? Definitely. Because you be a pro, a, being a product of your environment is really and truly by choice. You don't have to. You don't have to, you know. It's not hard, but I have to be a man and know, say, yo, my parents them got you too much. My four parents them, my great, great parents them got you too much. To me, they just make a fool of myself. Because me get opportunity where them never get. So what I got to do? I have to use that opportunity that make my youth them proud. My nephew said to me one day, say, we come out a poor family, but poor family now come out a we. A big talk in make. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And I'm saying, yeah, you're right. Yeah, true, man. Real talk. You some know? rich picnic. Yeah. Some, come have some rich and, kids. And riches, and riches is not all because you have to teach them how to even deal with the riches if and when it comes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because there's a lot of people with riches and just stupid because they feel like money is all and because you have some money, you can deal with people any and any. Oh, more you learn to deal with the money before it you get it, you know, because I don't want you to make that money and turn you in an idiot and we see enough of that go on. So you have to really try your best to educate the youth them outside of where the school I teach them because the school now go teach them most of the things where are go on in the real world where they come out. So, a real you know, so the school I teach you to be a worker. How to do a 9 to 5. How to be a 9 to 5. How to pay mortgage and pay car notes. A real time. Because <laughs> they don't teach you how to manage. Your money the right way. No. no you have to go learn that. You have to learn that. And, and, and I feel like me are the best person to teach my kids them how to actually do that. So me is supposed to be a father. Not just a father figure, but a father. Definitely. Yes, so you yeah. say they're on Elephant Man and other artists and you write music now for them. Yeah, so, man. So when songs start hit where you write, what was that feeling like? Great feelings. And yeah. one of the first artists who actually sing a song that I wrote was Bounty Killer. Yeah. And this about this about 99, 2000. Um, I think it was about 2000, somewhere around there. So, um, I link with a youth from Shaq Invasion and Piranha, and him know me love right and have only pass song. Yeah. And one of the time him just said to me, say, yo, more your demo to them song for me. And I say, so boom and demo. And the next thing I know is, about two, three days after that, him come link me back with Bounty Killer sing one of the demo them. Yeah, were you, were you demo? King, had the greatest feelings, man. Because them time the killer are the biggest, hottest. Even though I still have killer as one of the biggest, hottest still. Because you know? I, mean, I know some people pretty big and hot still, but me still have him as 
yeah, a big a, a, a longevity. Yeah, the man so that carry a car and dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah the man that thing just build on solid rocks and it's yeah, it is still there. It might not be the most popular in, in regards to you know trending. Trending, no, but. What is trending when you compare it to? No, you can't compare. So no comparison. You overstand me, yeah. I say. So, when me hear killer sing, when me hear killer voice, I sing the song, man. Like that make me know so me actually I do something. Because if Bounty Killer sing a song where Bugle go right them time. You just tell me which song? Yeah. Which song? Um, you can be what you want to achieve what you want to. Warla telling you you can be a star to not make them discourage you. Make these words nourish you. From your work hard you will flourish too. Yeah, man. <laughs> you didn't know say a killer got get that. You never know a killer got get that. Song. No, me never know. Him just bring it back with killer voice and sing it. So him put him own little ways to it though. I mean, like, a bounty killer that. Yeah, yeah. Me can't DJ like bounty okay, killer. Okay. So he might go put for himself in a head. He might go put in a film. But he still use the, the, melody, the melody. But yeah. he, he curve it for him and, 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 and you get bounty killer. So you did meet him after that? No? Soon after that. Yeah. And, and from that day up until to the day, me and killer have a relationship that never, ever, ever need mending because we maintain it on the same levels. True over 25 years now, 24, 25 years now. So you're writing songs for Killer, Elephant Man? I did a lot of writing for Elephant Man. Yeah. Like, I like a lot. Songs that I can't even remember. Dancing songs and all them songs? Well, you see, enough of them dancing songs there. Yeah. It's not a, a one individual effort. Okay, enough of them write. Studio vibe. Studio vibe. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I would have never take props for none of them songs there. Because you have a like, song like called Pan the River. It's actually Fire Link's idea. And then every man chip in and say, say this and a man say this and, and Ellie say, yeah, that bad. And it, you know, within no time is a song that and record and that's it. So me couldn't take props for a song where, you know, the whole studio yard bill or the whole syndicate who, who did their own at the time. Yeah. So even seeing them perform and songs that you write had to be a good feeling. So in yourself now, what are you thinking? Like say, yo, when am I time now? I need my car. You have the talent for write. And you're, and you're an artist. So I know say, at a point I say, no, am I time now? So when was that time? If I tell you the truth, you know, King, like there is so much time when you think so your time when I really never hear time still, yeah. you know. But the almighty. But, 2007 when the exercise song started play. I remember the start of the summer, there was a party named Beer Vibes. Yeah. And Firelings and, and Jazzy T clash. So that would have been Renaissance and Fire Sound clash. Um, down uh, um, on the ferry over there. So. Yeah. See? Yeah, yeah. And we did flip the exercise song for Firelings. That was my first dub plate when I flip. I did only a dub plate before that, even before my boss. But at the first, I flip a dub plate, a personal dub plate, personalize it. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. A special. And a this jazzy tea. And I mean, that's it, and the whole out there at the party. Because we know it's a good place, so we did it from early to one. Party are going and party ram, black. As far as you can look, you see people and everybody are drink and the party hot and. The class start now and Jazzy are going good because Jazzy T, them are no idiot, you know. Jazzy T, them a big selector, you know. I have to big up Jazzy T, you know. A real selector. Jazzy T, them a burn down the place and a fire links time for play now and fire links a juggle to and I go hard. And then me hear the intro, me hear my voice. Me hear fire links make a intro, a, a introduce a song. Me never know say a my song, you know. I just hear my do a intro and then. Me hear my voice and I say, blood God, this sound a way now. Yeah. And then when the song drop, I hear about seven gunshot fire behind me. I'm a cup where I have my apple and I drop out of my hand. Jack. Seal it, Big seal. Big woman thing. Drop out of my hand like, I say, John, you know, I'm fine on the bus. Because the man that were around us are fire gunshot. I don't know them. Yeah. You see, you know, just the song and to how effective it is. And, yeah man, about seven shot me here beat somewhere around there, so man had the song pull up about three, four times and Please, that was it. Place busy. That was it. Cool bump. Yeah man, so I have to give fire links in props too. Because you remember how you did that special? No, I don't to remember that though. It's, it's so <laughs> much special. <laughs> Over there, yeah. so man. You see, the first one. 
Yeah, yeah me not remember though, but I know Fire Links probably remember. I know Jazzy T probably remember. <laughs> Jazzy T, <laughs> traumatized. I still, still. <laughs> traumatized yeah. with the dog, but. So you say right now, you say 2007, you see the, you see the gate open. Yeah, man, we walk through it. I don't even see we see the gate open, how we open the gate. Yeah. Because the man uh, left no gate open for you, you know, kid. <laughs> that, that. This is one big competition, you know. It's a dog eat. A lion world, you know. If yeah. you lion, you don't know where I do, you know. I know where you I do. You say. So, we want my own door, man, and step through it, man. And from we step through, we don't give nobody the key. We have our own key, so when we're ready for go through, we just go through. A year, a and year. We always gate, ready for go through, too, because you don't know. We're up. Yeah, man. 07 must be a memorable year, too. Definitely. Um, you had another song too in the same year. Um, that's with Dasika. Enough more song. We never ease up, man. This are the beginning of the yeah, summer. Yeah, so that's Dasika. You know. uh, Dasika, man. Yeah. This are the beginning of the summer, man. Ex Dasika after Rise exercise, to another after level. exercises, I think on him. Some people stop by obstacles. My journey continue. continue. You over as me as a same year. Then you have. And when we're looking at some people, we're looking at them like, we're like we don't. No. And then after that, here come a thing on him. Um, Hypocrites can't look in at me, yeah. Mm -hmm. no that was fire links. And then we go back to the Dasika energy again with um, What have I done to you? Why you want to treat All me like a criminal? Seven. Yeah. Le five Le hits. Go over early over in a 08. Yeah. But I get about four songs, 07. And in that time, I win. Cartel and Movado. This, when me bus is when Movado and Cartel were. It at its peak, yes. just ripe. When you have a thing on him, Ben Better is a key. Yeah, man. So, them time, they, them time there's like if you're not boss, a Ben Better is you're not boss. Yeah, true. If Ben Better is not a play, your song is like it not a play. And you have a thing down the road named Dirty Friday. Yeah. Where I, I go on to, but Bembe was yeah, the, the uptown, downtown, midtown where everybody come gather and, yeah, man, a, a whole heap of energy. So, when Vibes Cartel and Movado play in a Bembe Thursday at the same time, the zinc a drop down. Mm. Man, a kick out zinc. A beer things are going. You over, so you find out at the same time, you know, most, most of the artists them where I try, I do the same thing. Because yeah. they did have a youth on him, Einstein, who are going wicked too. Yeah. But him did I do the Rise same thing. Rise the machine. Run them down, run. You understand? Mm -hmm. Him did I do the same thing. And, and, I, I really that did that go on. You always have I do on your way, I do that kind of vibe there too. So you find out say, most of the man them at that time are that everybody want to do because of that I go on. So guess what go on now? Me and DeMarco sing a song for a Stephen rhythm. One of the same rhythm where the man them are clash pan and the song Evil and Wicked. And I said to DeMarco the day I done record the song over King Jamie Studio, they say, yo, if that song you know boss me not sing no more of them song you know yes some of them and I yes a jaw. Yeah. You over what I say? And the song, I never hear that play one time now, Eja. So that's when I decide to say, yo, you see the promise you want me to make? I go keep it. I don't sing no more of them songs upon record. I must put dub plate yeah, or freestyle upon stage. But I don't put this upon record ever again. And I right away, I go voice the exercise song and I hit combust. Yeah, true. And, and, and it so happened that. In the midst of the war, they went, me bus, me open one different door. Because nobody never look over which part me I look. There was just one song where I deal with positive, new song me attack at the time. At the time and yeah. a busy signal of a song when named These Are the Days. These are the fucking days. Yeah. yeah. That did that go on because of that sake of production as well. But the truth is, that song there was, uh, was a loner. So as Bad as the song was, it never did I get the run where it deserved because I it alone. Yeah, so when me say so now boom with exercise, exercise start play with the days. Mm -hmm. You see? And when exercise bust now is when Demarco realized, no, be ugly up my door. And that door, yeah, me know me can step through it because Demarco is one of them talent there. Yeah, you you over you, you say? So Demarco sing a thing when him. Um, and the Marcus song Soldiers. Um, this is one of fallen soldiers. And the song Boss. Yeah. So you find out that days, exercise, fallen soldiers are play. 
Then conscience you are going, because of course conscience are one of them artists they from ever since. A soldier's conscience, them used to name him and him brother, you know. True. We jump out, you know. So him used to that kind of energy the same way. So when that go on now like conscience, I say that door you will walk more over there, so I want a piece of this because me are not the war artist. And that's when conscience sing winner. Yeah. This year, me and Fibi, the winner. winner. So you find out, say, so four songs start juggle now. And then here comes Munga with that thing when he, um, If I ever forget to give thanks, Ja, please. So you find out, say, so the five songs, them, no matter how they were at around the so, the people, them, are wait for them five songs. And when them five songs you play, at the same forward of the war get. And sure. then through me, I follow through now. With some people stop by obstacles, my journeys continue. So you find out that so the thing I get bigger and Acting bigger. Acting, you get peace of it. No, acting is way over in a all eight, really. Yeah. But them songs you may tell about, the only artists outside of the names them were me, Carl, who did bus at that time, it was Taurus Riley bus with an album. No. Same time when me bus all seven is when Taurus bus with an album. Yeah, true. You see me, I said. So, I, I, I really, that's how the whole energy start. But as I say, so, I walk my door bridging. And, and if the ones them willing to, you know, just speak and just give bugle him flowers, a man will tell you, say, yo, a bugle open that door there, you know, enough man walk through. And then you find, say, big ship them with, with, with laden them a bus now and, and, and she now a bus now with the same kind of vibe. So, the whole energy that we me bring in the music kind of just, I expand and I expand and more youth to forward through and more youth to forward through. But as I say, if a man willing to say, I'm going to say, yo, Bugle start one thing in the music, man. We still live on right now. A real talk. And I never yet think about it till now. A fox, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Come with the boat. time they love music. Never sang when you have history, you know. Yeah. You see? When I say, history done, they're for sure my journey. So if, if I say nothing, where you're not sure about, the history that they show it. Yeah. You can go check the data every month song and when this come out and when that come out and you will see say yo the money has start or something there. You go up the gate for yeah, the conscious gate. vibes there. Eh? Cause remember conscious was was from like say what old four, five with um I win them, chip I mean, and That is it, always there though. Yeah, it's always there. But then the war vibes it come take a space and it's like it did a clog up the space yeah for a while i never realized say, oh, be able to come open up the gate there and whole heap of ones come come deal with the cast a lot of artists that say no easy for busting at them time that with i mean everybody i look towards gully yeah. and gaza war true you see me and sting and all of that and badness and for bust mm. with them song there's a, a tremendous thing true yeah and and you say you never yet Going at a space where clash is concerned or gun tune is concerned, you just stay in a year lane. Yeah, man, we just stay in a mile. No matter who, at, no matter what I go on, I steadfast focus because I had the same youth where come sing do and come sing anything goes and come sing um, can't look in my eye and um, what the part them song there? Tell me about my mad. We now work with that. One know everything, but man, them two, them too fast. Me had the same youth with it to the whole of them song there, you know. You over, so my career is always balanced. When me give you a Rasta party, and me still come back, come give you a 19. Me had the youth with always do that. Me never ever switch. I from the get go, I be with that. Me not do it because the next man I do it. Me do it because I'm me from the jump. The first time I saw you on stage, I don't know if you remember who you called out. You called out a Rasta artist. Famous, Possibly man. Jamil. Jamil. Yeah, yeah. man. Because I hold up a youth with call out still. Because them time I call out Vibrant, which yeah. is a Rasta as well. Mm -hmm. I have another little youth that they run on him. Proper field of used to call out the same way too. Them three youth, there was my three warrior them, man. I'm not going to know we left them before Dexter Dabs. Yeah, true. Real you talk, man. And then Dexter Dabs come at that year, So him become my priority because me a that sake and him signed to that sake, so yeah. him become a priority. But me just never left Jamil. Yeah, Jamil man, a lot of people always. don't know that in you know, yeah. the space, right? To the day, probably don't know, sir. A bugle used to bring out Jamil. Yeah, man. A lot of shows. Yeah, but he must say, some boy, yeah, right? Turn out the cheese, cast that. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. A real talk. Say so the whole heap of the music where probably people don't talk about, where need to be talked about. But I know you for even say, I don't need to talk about this. Yeah, because when, when the man them who you do it for, talk about it, it, to me it's more effective. 
more effective. Like how me can come and say, I surround the boss me in a job. Yeah. I surround the city talent. I surround the say, I want to do some work with you, but bring an idea to me. I'm linking with the exercise idea. But in the same breath, surround the boss me and me, boss surround because I do boss surround it as an artist. Surround it did already boss as a producer, yeah, yeah. but him never boss as an artist. He did have a song with him and, him and um, Mother the dying, yeah. but uh, it never bust. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but it never bust. It's, it's door bust around it. You over us? So I saw it gone. That's why them say one and can't clap. Because maybe if him never bust, me him still wanna bust as an artist. Yeah, just a producer. Say, yeah, yeah. Ja. I'm looking at some. You say them not like me. And it's his idea, it's never my idea. Yeah. We tell the truth, me there Corville one, and I think it was a Sunday night, and him called me from Florida. And say, yo, I have a wicked idea, this must it. And I say, yeah, let me hear it. And him say, I'm from, I'm from some people looking at my face, I know so they don't like me. And I say, sing it again. And him say, from some people looking at me, and I say, yo, you yeah, sing it wrong. I said, the idea bad enough, but you yeah, sing it wrong. Don't say from them looking at your face, because them they even must look upon you. Say from you are looking at them face. And him sing it. And when me looking at me, I say, yo, this boss, this gun. Yeah. You over as I say, so sometimes I just even more you use the word where you have to. Word player. Yeah. And, and to own the idea Yeah, man. And as, as soon as him, him jump off of the flight, me meet him at the studio and we record it. And Eat that. Another one in my catalog. Another one. Yeah, Ja. But yes, I give you the most forward over the years. The most forward over the years? Mm -hmm. Yo. So many, I know. But. I can't. That, that's hard. <laughs> hard to answer. That's hard because. My music is the music who people sing with. My music is, is forward music. True. Like the first line. You over some I say, and them no smooth, them no sick and poop poop. You understand what I say? Yeah. I don't worry about them. Poop. You over some I say. Yeah. And when me looking at you know, yeah, everything like everything exercise is. every day and um, yeah, so I don't know. Like me just have a solid catalog of song, brother. If you blame life, you blame who? You over some I say, so I just really and truly have to give thanks. I have a solid catalog of song where can't dead, now nah go dead. Yeah, longevity in our music. Where you yeah, man, my music have life. My music is not surface. Yeah, and, I don't know. And that's why I bring me right up to Apex. 17 years. 17 years later. Yeah. Five albums later. Five albums later. Yeah, Apex. Ja. And on all social um, platforms right now. Yeah, man, Apex is worldwide. Yeah. When I mean, say worldwide, I mean it's a player worldwide. That means it's there worldwide. So, Apex are one of them albums there. From you listen it one time, you are going to get up. Yeah. You over some I say? You have a favorite song on the album? No. You don't have a favorite song? No. Like, you have a go to, you go in your car, I say. And you, and you just make it play. From Trust interlude. Me, bro, like, I, I don't have a favorite song on the yeah. album. I listen to the whole of them religiously. All of the songs them on the album, I listen to them. Keep is on the album? Cape Town up on the album, Bujo Bantan Junior Gang on the Thank You Lord track. The song with Cape Town is Oops. Um, and I have, I have Rory do the interlude, I have Tifa, I have Girl, I have Maxi Priest, yeah. I have um, Military Man, I have Chaps, I have Barrington Levy, and that's it where Feature is concerned. Cool. So you have a tour lined up? For the album? Well, everything, you know, the album just forward out, so everything actually, you know, I, I put it's in layout. place. No. It's a layout, no. Yeah, man, everything I put in place, because you can't just get up and just run, so you have to know which part you run, because you will break your foot, too, you know. Mm -hmm. you, know so you have to you have structure to your thing properly, us, yeah. make the people them see why you go forward which part of them there, instead of like a wild goose chase, a, a hit and miss kind of vibes. We don't really do that. We are make sure, say, you know, we structure our thing properly. Outside of Jamaica, what's your favorite place to perform? Everywhere. Yeah, yeah. man, no, I don't have a favorite place to perform. I perform anywhere. Everywhere I pro perform, I look forward to that. I prepare for it, I rehearse for it, you know, and try my best to deliver to the best of my ability. Every show is like my last show. True. You over so I say, I don't take nobody for granted. I don't take nothing for granted. I promote spending money. I him the first person I try to give money out to work before me even give the, the audience. audience. Yeah. 
You see, I, see I you. always deliver, cause I only put stage show, cause you see yourself and Pelpa type. Sure. You understand that? I always deliver, no matter who work before you, who work after. <laughs> you understand? I we grow in it, man. Yeah. I just grow it, you know. I just so life go. If 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 not for the youth, then we probably can perform as good now. Spend mo enough time in the music, then probably be come become the best performer True. within time. Yeah. You of us because. To tell you the truth, I remember when all the youth like Vegas just bust. You know us? Vegas was far from being one of my favorite performers. He's always a favorite artist of mine because me and him and Terry called them. They always hang out a big ship during the time when him bust. But he was far from being my favorite performer. Yeah. Now, I feel like Vegas is the greatest dancehall performer we have to the day. I don't see nobody where I do it better than him on a stage right now. Me, me I go always give him that props there. True. You over what I say? So I something where you grow into. Me, I wasn't as good as I am now then. Yeah. I grew, I grow into it. Grow. And the more show you do, the more, you know, you master it still. You have to master your craft, yeah. especially 17 years. You Everything takes time, them. man. Nothing no, no overnight. Nothing no overnight. Thing I, and you build upon your craft. Yeah. And I say fifth album, so you don't know, you don't have the structure of doing albums too. Yeah, you man. understand? It's like, where's producers? Producers on the album. Well, um, me, me basically produce the entire album, but I have different producers on there. Um, I can say I produce three of the songs I'm exclusively. Um, and the rest, I did a lot of the production, but we have people like Mr. G. Mm -hmm. Produce track one and track two, or track two and track three. We have Bambino on there. We have um, Chuckback, AJ and Chuckback on there. We have, um, um, where's my app on it? We have Breadback. We have um, like Flavor McGregor. Yeah. Um, where's the on it? Um, we have a couple of producers on it, Jack. Yeah. You of us? Very. I boogie down music. Um, and they produce a song with me and Maxi Priest, Set Speed. Yeah. Yeah. I have a couple yeah, producers, man. Good but, producers. But the producers, them were the my album. You know. If you notice, you're not really hearing no a hype producer. Yeah. No, but they don't have names. They don't have names. I deal, deal with music. Yeah. So I really and, do, and truly don't care who the artist is. Mm -hmm. If you sing a good song, I will give you props, I will hear it and give you forward and money pull up if I have to do that too. Yeah. But from a year a good song, I don't care who sing it. And it's the same way with the production. From a year a good rhythm, I don't care who build it. You just, you the just, rhythm good. So you know who have the hype, who have So the, the people them who me choose to work with on this project, I just... I mean, I've only, it's not like seminary, the one that I don't work with. Talent over hype. But yeah, I yeah. only 16 songs. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? So you can't have everybody where you read on the same album. I'm going to have to go catch the next one. Just like how a different man did catch the one before. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Pitch is the album now, today, and it's out. Yeah. And people need to go. Yeah, man. You send them As to? I said, the album yeah. the album here yeah, is, is addictive. From you listen to the album, you go hook to it and you go love it and you go ask yourself why it take you so long to listen to it. You over as I say, it, it's four weeks now. Tomorrow I make four weeks. Don't make five weeks so you don't cap the album. Yeah. Because we always I say we need some good music, we need some good music. You get it. Here so it you don't have nothing to say again. You over as I say, you don't have. Nothing for say again. It depends on all of the platforms where you listen to your favorite music. You can go over iTunes go listen to it. You can stream it wherever. You can go over Amazon. Every day we do over Amazon I buy things that we don't even need. Because it's over there and it has sell cheap and it looks good. So we go over there and we spend a little money. The album is ten dollars. You over as what I say? Yeah. And trust me. This album could have sell for a hundred dollar bridge. You over us. Yeah. But a ten dollar fee. Worth the money. Mm. Worth the Support. Spread. If you don't want to buy it, just listen to it. Just stream it. You don't have to buy it. Just stream it. Just play it. Listen to it one time. Yeah. Just listen to it one time. If you had one word to describe the album. Apex.
Apex. Apex. <laughs> that word, not One less. word for describe the album. Apex. Apex. I give them your social media platforms, them off of reach, oh. so bookings, it's, all of it's that. It's Bugle Anointed, which is B U G L E A N, the number 9 T E D. And you find me over Instagram. And if you're going to the bio and click, you're going to see everything where you need. You're going to see email, you're going to see phone number, you're going to see the other social. Just go up on the link tree and you find everything where you need. If you need for book bugle, just Follow and check what I go on. Go over um, YouTube, same way. We have a visualizer for the Thank You Lord, which is the most played reggae song in the world right now, in regards to new song. And don't get it wrong because a man go all listen and I say, what oh, matter about YG, Mali song I play more than him. In regards to new song, Thank You Lord is the most played reggae song. I talk about everywhere, not Jamaica, not Canada, not America, but Worldwide. everywhere. Worldwide, thank you, Lord, is the most played reggae song. It, it, right. they, in a whole heap of major playlists, they're in a whole heap of major charts. So, Apex album is really the album for you to listen to right now if you have pre good music. Okay. Big up yourself, you know, you yeah, go. man, give thanks. Jack. Anything you want to tell people, I never ask. Yo, I like, not really, because they ask a whole heap of questions. <laughs> I mean, you just really want me, me to emphasize on Apex album. Because even me, sit down more while I'm here, say, yo, we need some more music. Even when me, I sing them, me still, I say, we need some more. Because I'm one can do it in a job. True indeed. You of us? So I still got to emphasize on, you know, listen to the album, Bridget. Yeah. Don't just dead there and say, we need music. And when it's dead there, you still not support it. You of us, I say, Jamaica small, you know, and we there compare reggae music to Afrobeat and all this music, which is something we really and truly for do. If you look upon the people that were subscribed to our music and the people that were subscribed to, in, 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 in terms of quantity, were subscribed to, to Afrobeat. You look, you talk about Africa. Big continent. Continent. You are compared to a little island, island with less than 3 million people. And out of the 3 million people, probably about 1.2 million people really in tune to the music. You over us, it's not like so the whole 3 million people there so listen with, with, with reggae music neither. You over us. So if, if you are going to make that comparison there, you are do something wrong. But meanwhile, you are make the comparison, support where they are. Just like how you support one or there. You over us, what I say? And is that, it's not because of my album, you know. Because if it was any other artist of an album like this, I see him with a talk about it. Just like how, um, year before last, when the Grammys are going, and about four interview, major interviews me do, and them ask who me think for win the Grammy. And I constantly say in Kabaka Pyramid because I truly wanted him to win. I truly think he deserved the winnings. You know, young artists, young Rasta youth, Jamaican, you know, and me not say that. So I not only I say this because of my album, I tell you them say. So any cool. other reggae album there, Romeo Virgo Japa album, Itana Japa album, who else? I think Marty Ma Japa album. So tune into the album them man. But Apex, I wanna listen it. You see? What do you wanna listen to it first, second or third? Just listen to it. You hear that? Apex, the highest speak or anything. Are we that? You see that? Pre that. Are we out? Boom! Piper Time Production. Big up to all of my viewers all over the world. You don't know. Big up to all who lock into Piper Time TV over the years. You don't know. Link with and you get your music video shoot, direct and edit. Your wedding, your funeral, party, stage show, photo shoot. You name it. So just check the information on the screen and lock in to Pelpa Time TV production. Big up on yourself. Pelpa TV! Pelpa Time! Pelpa Time! Room, 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 room! Pelpa Time production. Pelpa Time. Pelpa Time production. For Pelpa TV. For Pelpa Time. It's a Pelpa Time, you know it's that time. Pelpa Time TV. I'm governor representing of Pelpa Time. You know. Pelpa Time, you know what you think of? I win as a Pelpa Time, I'm more like more. Can't mix up Pelpa Time thing with no coffee.
them on a Pelpa time, and I represent for you see with Pelpa time. Pelpa time right now. Ooh, Pelpa time. I want to them them. Pelpa time TV. Pelpa time. We're down for Pelpa time productions. Pelpa time production. It does represent for Pelpa TV. Pelpa time TV. Pelpa time. Yell yeah, them get the belt on time, you know. It's all about. Pelpa time, keep it locked. Come represent the Pelpa, 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 the